Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon Training Team. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how you can draw joints within the volume of the mesh. In this simplified scene, I have the mesh of an arm. And I want to draw some joints. So I'm going to go to my character menu and get the joint tool. With the default settings where it says modifiers, you can see that the control modifier allows us to draw the joints. So let me close this. I'm going to press control and I go around here and uh, click to create a joint. This will create a root and a joint. Now, if I go around, you will see that that is definitely not inside the mesh. So how do we fix that? Well, I'm going to go and delete this, go back and select the joint tool. And I'm going to make sure that I have the projection setting enabled. Now I'm going to go to a view where I can see the volume of my object uh, correctly from the point of view I'm sitting right now. And if I press control and click here, what you will see is that the joint is going to be generated within the volume of the object, always based on my view angle. So now I'm going to continue down, get rid of the root null. I don't want another one. And I'm going to go and zoom in here. I'm going to go here where the wrist should be, press control and click here, you will see that it's placed inside. Now let's continue downwards and let's add something over here. You will see that it creates it down there inside the volume. And then I think my thumb over here has some sort of joint. And then I'm going to go here at the tip and press control and do that. And now I can just go back to my hand every single time and repeat the same exercise. I can go from the top view over here, I'm going to put my joints over here, control, click, and then go. I think my digit will bend here, and then here, and then the tip. Go back to this and do the same thing. Control, click, and click, and click, and go down here, and click over here. Again, select this, and let's do the same thing here, and here and here and here. I'm not doing uh, the best job, but you understand the point. Let's go there and finalize this. One, two, and three, and the tip. And uh, there you have it. The only thing you need to make sure is because these tips are quite thin, depending on the angle you're viewing them. Just make sure you move these joints around. So let's go and uh, find that little joint over there. Go to my move tool. You can see it. And just correct the position before you do any binding to make sure that everything is going to work properly. And that, my friends, in a nutshell, is the projection mode in the draw joint tool. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.